Mr. Zola. So, um, hello neighbors. <laughs> and this is the, the Red Room uh, team. And uh, I'm really um, happy that we get to meet here because previously we met at the diagonal uh, part uh, at an exhibition. Right. And, and I'm really happy to, to see that there's further opportunities uh, for both the CSR side of my work as well as possibly a bridge to the Ministry of Education and Ministry of Labor mm -hmm. uh, when it comes to supporting our workforce and further lowering our employment rate, uh, and, uh, which are very important national policies, keep it well under 4% uh, uh, and things like that. And uh, if you just walked in, there, there was a uh, CSR event just, just then uh, with Impact Hub Taipei uh, and uh, I think Care4. Uh, oh. about uh, like, uh, sustainable uh, food use mm -hmm. um, and um, I think they just gave out some awards uh, to the innovations from the NPOs and social entrepreneurs that maximizes uh, food use uh, so to further both zero hunger but also responsible consumption um, and that is one good case of CSR and mm -hmm. this is the venue that we run a lot of CSR events uh, like these um, so would you like to maybe start? Okay. Um, Marina, would you like to start? Sure. Session? Yeah. So, um, it's the first time we meet, so I'm going to introduce myself a little bit. I'm Red Room New Program Coordinator. Before that, I was MANAF. Um, I joined here three months ago, basically. Red Room, I know you were here last time, and um, we're facing, so Red Room is a non-profit organization and we do a lot of um, events. Uh, we have different programs, we have musical performance, we have wellness program, vision dialogues, we try to educate the people, we try to gather the people, locals, foreigners, um, and there's a lot of great people coming in that place. Um, but so far we're facing an issue um, we, have, we, have, we have been asked to move the space because there's a new plan for the Air Force area and all this area. Um, we had the first meeting with CLAT um, yeah, yeah. people and the construction head of construction people here. And it was in August 23rd. And they told us that by the end of the year we'll have to find a new location and empty the space for them to be able to rearrange the space and just reorganize it for other artists or maybe they will send a call out of for artists. We don't know yet, but it, we, it was with Roma and another volunteer was Penny, and so that's what we've been told. So, so far we kept running all the events we have because we already scheduled a lot of events until December and we are right now in the process of uh, looking for a new space and uh, eventually finding out other collaborations uh, and other like open doors for Red Room because we're celebrating also our 10 year anniversary in Congrats. 10 days. Wow. Yeah, this is the 17th of November. Wow, it's so, awesome. Um, Please join us, uh, bring your friends, bring your people, uh, feel free to join us. It's a whole weekend celebration, uh, November 16 and 17. And, and we hope that this will be not the end of Red Room, but just a continuous a new beginning. Yeah, a new beginning. And we'll just take this yeah. as a new adventure, but we'll also need some help and just because we have a great service to provide and we have people that support us, most of the people that are helping our volunteers mm -hmm. and, and there's a lot of programs for Taiwanese, we want more Taiwanese people to come, most of our programs are bilingual, Chinese and English, we tend to do that mm -hmm. as much as we can, sometimes it's only English but it's usually sometimes it's only art class so it's fine actually, people can practice their English. But if it's some like visual dialogues or exhibitions, we tend to translate everything in Chinese, make sure that it's a uh, Taiwanese friendly. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that's what yeah. I wanted to bring up. Um, so um, about this, let's just call it a kind of doorway from a red room to a new red room. Yeah. <laughs> a new room. 
So, um, is there a potential like new rooms, uh, venues that you've already? So we've been in contact with the new Taipei city government because mm -hmm. we went to some um, panel discussion and and we were great to meet. Uh, what was her name? Ting Yu. Ting Yu. Yeah, and she was just amazing. She wanted to support us and. And so she put us in contact with uh, some of her colleagues who are in charge of locations and venues and some areas in New Taipei City, which we were happy to try and see what we have. We just wanted to be like close to an MRT access to people. And we visited some. One was just not the size we need, we, we need, because we need actually a bigger size. It was a small house. Uh, needed a lot of renovation that we are not able to uh, afford because it's too much money. And the other one was just uh, actually not able to be used because they wanted also to do some cultural space, but they were happy to help. And we were also in contact with another person that gave us some uh, contact info that we, and Christiana had me to contact it because my Chinese is not so good. But yeah, so we have some, we, we started some, and so far there's not like a concrete solution or a place that we kind of uh, imagine ourselves as a new home. But Roma has looked also for new places to most for collaboration, mm -hmm. and maybe we can start from that after December, and probably it would be that if we have no other options. So MRT is obviously important, yeah. uh, and but the MRT technically runs all the way to the airport. Right. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah it's true. Um, so it crosses three municipalities. Um, so there's actually quite a few uh, near the MRT places, n not only in uh, Linko, uh, which is where most of the inhabitants of this space, before it became such an emission lab, it was the app lab or something like that. Uh, and many of them are now in Linko, uh, because Linko is much larger. Uh, it has good facilities, uh, and they invited Amazon, Microsoft, and so on. If you're coding apps, you'd rather be closer to these folks uh, rather than to you know us. <laughs> uh, and so, uh, I mean, they're still developing their code, uh, not yet at a stage where they can demonstrate social impact. Mm -hmm. So, so Linko is for that. Uh, right. But uh, Linko, as I understand, for you, uh, because there's a lot of performances and a large exhibition um, and so on, so Linko is more constrained in individual spaces. Although it also has a good uh, property in the sense that it's a real property that you can actually live in it. Uh, because it started as a um, athlete's uh, living quarters, uh, and so for international visiting artists, um, there's like ready rooms uh, to to live in. And so Linko, um, although it may not fit your uh, social uh, gathering purposes perfectly, may actually work somewhat uh, yeah. for for the living part, and you don't have to renovate that. That's the <laughs> right, <laughs> with yeah. the in renovation. Uh, but um, along the MRT to Taoyuan, there are more spaces. And the closer you get to the airport, of course, the larger the spaces get. But also, um, it means that you have to re rely on mostly the Taoyuan line of the MRT, which I'm not sure whether you're ready to. Yeah. Mm. Maybe too far. Well, well yeah. I wouldn't close any doors yeah. right now. At this point, mm -hmm. we'd say we've put in 10 years, we've been very fortunate to have first the library space and now this space. And it's been a great time for us to experiment, try new programs, you know, less risk, right? Not a lot of cost, but we've been able to really explode in terms of the kind of programs we've built. We are hoping this anniversary, we're calling everybody who's ever interacted with Red Room, being transformed by Red Room, being touched by it, to come and share their story and maybe we can rebirth Red Room in a different way. We're really open to that because it's a very, it's always been very organic uh, and I think it can continue to be organic. And it's literally, as we say, by the people, for the people. You know, with the people. With the people. So, <laughs> Whatever the community needs, we respond. Okay. You know, that's how it works. Mm -hmm. um, we're not like 
stuck in any sort of strict parameters. So okay, that's, that's we're very really, good. really open to developing in different ways. I think it's worth exploring. Okay, okay. So um, yeah, I, I think I mean this is really close by. So <laughs> um, 16th. So I'll, I'll be in Rotterdam, but, oh. but, but I'll see if my colleagues can come. Yes, but please, but I fly to I fly to Rotterdam on the morning of Saturday. Oh. Otherwise, I would have come. So can I just quickly explain? Mm. There are yes. two days. Yes. So one is a, one is an all day live art and music. So mm. there'll be artists with their easel set up. There'll be music, um, different bands playing all day. Uh, we'll be painting live, and mm. then at the end of the day, there'll be an auction of the work. Uh -huh. Throughout the day, we will come and watch the artists work. Bids are on a silent, silent bidding kind of thing. They can keep doing that. And then at the end of the day, we auction it off. Uh, and then the next day um, is an open storytelling. That's what we're talking about. Right? We're inviting everybody who we know, who's ever known Red Room, come and tell your story. How did Red Room touch you? And with that, with those stories, we hope to build further. You know, go further. We want to listen to what people have to say. This is excellent. This is awesome. Um, so I think uh, I'll definitely pass this information along uh, and see if uh, any of our uh, potential uh, venue or and or network um, providing friends mm -hmm. um, can make it uh, to their bedroom. But I, I think please continue uh, with, with your presentation. I think I interrupted you. <laughs> and no, so, no, no, no. No? Okay. No, no. All right. It's so, an open conversation. Okay, it's an open conversation. <laughs> All right. So, um, but assuming that you do find a venue uh, before the end of the, the year, um, what, what are some of the ways that uh, we can be of help? Uh, even though we're not then technically neighbors, <laughs> we, we are very closely aligned uh, mm -hmm. in Bayou. Just recently, um, I helped the uh, Talent Circulation Alliance uh, folks uh, to do the, the Talent Circulation Alliance Summit with Maurice John and friends, and they, they launched a conversation, uh, tca.talktoo.tw, at talks2tw, tca.talks2.tw, uh, and they um, are asking uh, what are the main obstacles to talent circulation mm -hmm. between Taiwan and the world. What should the governments do to address um, these problems? Uh, and they are, uh, this is bilingual, I just happened to open the, the mm -hmm. Mandarin interface. Um, and many of these uh, ideas actually align with what Red Room is, is doing. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, for example, designing, uh, especially for art and design related curricula, yeah. uh, foreign professors, foreign lecturers can be uh, admitted by their country's uh, criteria instead of Taiwan academic criteria, mm -hmm. which would massively open doors uh, for, uh, especially in the design art profession, uh, qualified uh, lecturers to, to build their career mm -hmm. here in Taiwan without having to pass through a different set of exams and so right. on uh, here. Uh, and uh, also uh, the two-year experience, same, mm -hmm. because some people come to Taiwan to pivot to a different uh, WIC mm -hmm. and saying that you have to get two years of experience previously outside of Taiwan in that work area is <laughs> it, actually uh, very counterintuitive. Uh, so on and so forth. So, so there's many good ideas already being brainstormed. And, and I think um, the MCHAM, uh, the American Chamber of Commerce, uh, will take the ones that resonate the most with the community and write them into their MCHAM white paper, which right. as you know is very powerful yes. <laughs> yeah, when it comes to affecting Taiwanese policy. Uh, and so, yeah, I think this kind of structure is still very much aligned, even though maybe physically we're, we're apart. I think value-wise, we're all furthering the same uh, values. Well, yeah, we hope that, you know, Red Room can continue to contribute towards the big picture of Taiwan, mm -hmm. towards Taiwan becoming bilingual, mm -hmm. more open, mm -hmm. more creative, right. all those things. And that's why we, mm -hmm. we hope we can be part of that, mm -hmm. a bigger part of that yes. picture. Sure. And we're also open to suggestions from you in terms mm -hmm. of how we can plug into things that we can contribute. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.
But I think, um, may I ask you to talk about the other three issues? That, uh, well, two issues, one was yes. which we approached. Mm -hmm. yes. So actually, thank you so much for uh, giving us suggestions. Mm -hmm. uh, because we actually already met one time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and then you actually gave us suggestions about um, which places we could uh, possibly apply for certain subsidies. Mm -hmm. um, and yeah. actually one, mm -hmm. one of them was the Ministry of Labor. That's right. Yeah, and then the other one was regarding the CSR platform. Yeah, that's the SI that Taiwan platform. Yes. Which yes. I suggested that you do a uh, yes. registration of yes, your organization. Yes, which we did. And, and then we were wondering, because after we, we did, did it, because yes. I didn't yeah, we did. quite see Oh, oh you. does it go to you? <laughs> uh, which no, which, which, which uh, name were you registering? Maria. Okay. With the uh, email address that is on the card. Okay. Uh, and uh, and uh, uh, so Hong Kong Wen Jiao Yi Shu Zhe Wei. What was that the, the name under which you registered your organization? Red Room International Group. Red, Red Room International. Yeah. So did you put the Chinese name? I put the English one. Red Room International. Maybe it's um, it's not registered as Red Room International, it's registered in a different way. So we have to put the official registration right. name. Right, so, so it, it is Hong Kong Wen Jiao Yi Shu Xie I don't see it yet uh, okay. in our registry. Maybe we can do it again yeah. with yeah. the right official title in the name of the company. Have you seen Red Room Cultural Education Art? Yes. I'll yeah, try again. That, that the, the staff that does the registration are literally these folks. So <laughs> can I do it after? <laughs> yeah, yeah, okay, that's right. Oh, yeah. awesome. It's a, just an administrative thing, but uh, for many of the subsidies and the resources and programs, they look at a kind of exact match, like Hong Kong with the register ID 729573 mm -hmm. right. uh, and so Yeah, I did enter yeah. this. You, you did number. put it in. So, so maybe we we'll just uh, add it. Chinese name to it, so no, it's right. easier to I'll check with them now. Okay, search. Okay, so please. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, so basically one was, we were wondering what kind of information or support can you get after yeah. you register yeah. on the CSR uh -huh. platform. Yes. Yeah, so, yeah. Uh -huh. um, and then the other one was uh, regarding the subsidies for labor mm -hmm. for uh, employment, because we do, Redmond does help, uh, one of the goals of Redmond is actually uh, to increase cultural collaboration um, between different peoples, and that includes, uh, for example, the Aboriginals here in Taiwan. Um, so, yeah, so in terms of the subsidies that we could get from the Ministry of Labor uh, in order to employ these people, um, yeah, we were wondering if, um, because we checked on the program, and we were wondering what are some other more concrete ways to actually help them. Um, if you could provide, for example, because um, uh, we checked um, on the list, and basically, yeah, there was some documentation, um, but we were wondering what are some more concrete steps um, or contacts that um, you could ask for me. Did, did, did you call the, uh, I think I showed you this, this yes, page, yes, yes, and, and there's uh, a telephone number okay. uh, here. Uh, did, did you? get into the contact with the, uh, because the way Ministry of Labor works is that there's five uh, local support centers. Okay. Uh, and each one is well equipped to answer uh, questions. Uh, and because you're registering have a city. Right. Uh, so that means the, the, the Beiji Yihua Jinma, uh, which is hard to describe as a geographic entity. But anyway, the Northern uh, Center will, will handle uh, this kind of administrative uh, questions. Okay. Uh, so maybe I forgot to say that, but no. uh, it, it, it's this is yeah, a legit. Yeah. Okay. okay. So you should just give them a call and the That's chat. right. That's right. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yes. That is their job. Yes, uh, yes. Right. That's great. Uh -huh. And um, as for the CSR part, so there's two levels. Yes. One is that once you register, you declare your SDG goals, and you let us know um, that which project you're uh, crowdsourcing or crowdfunding on. Uh, and then you just click here. Uh, sorry, it's bilingual. I really should. Yeah. So proposal, and and uh, make a proposal. Like some of them are now doing a three SDGs uh, project, 
um, building a long-term care center in the indigenous um, place uh, in Wolahan, uh, and uh, that's the most rural area uh, in the Taichung city. Mm -hmm. uh, and here is their planned work. Um, here's how much funding and how much support personnel they need. Some of them they are planning to uh, make a time bank, um, so like in kind time contributions that will be repaid once you get old, uh, and, and and then also other plans, uh, and then uh, the system will start churning and getting you the CSR partners to fulfill your proposal. So this is the virtual part, okay. right? That makes so more sense now. Mm -hmm. it, it, yes. It's all on the SI platform. So if you go to SI, you're yes. registered, and you just make a proposal. Okay. And, and again, if there's any question, just call this number, All right. uh, which is that one. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Okay, now it all makes sense. We're so close. We're so close. Yes. That's right. That's right. Yes. Almost here. Yeah, the we're other just side of the here, actually. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So that's the first thing, the, yeah. the virtual one. And the physical one, actually, uh, if within a week uh, until the 11th, um, you can also apply to simply set up an office in the basement here. So a very close relocation. Oh, you're yeah. saying that you yeah. have space for yeah. office? It, yeah, yeah. Did, did, did you go to the basement? No, or maybe no. we should uh, take you on a tour. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, so, so yeah, that's physical venues. So, um, and we relax a lot of uh, rules on usage, so you can redecorate however you want, really, um, uh, within a year. So this is, again, a yearly thing. Uh, how about yeah. right? And then, um, but the, uh, um, base of this uh, is a, basically we're a social incubator, uh, and so there's two tracks. Mm -hmm. One is if you're a startup, right. as in uh, you're a MPO or a company that is less than five years old, which of course you're not. <laughs> it says on it. Yeah, <laughs> uh, right. Uh, right. Actually, to tell you the truth, it's a little complicated. Yeah. Red Room is for 10 years, yeah. but the association yeah. formally was only registered three years ago. Oh, so you're also a startup. Yes. Yay. Okay, so you can you can apply for the startup track. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. Well, it, it will probably uh, get questioned during the Q and A, <laughs> but but there's another track, uh, which is the social innovation track. Mm -hmm. So uh, and in the social innovation track, the idea is that uh, all the resource that we pour through you, mm -hmm. um, you need a some kind of proposal that shows. And for each dollar spent on subsidies and grants, uh, you will create more than one dollar of okay. social value uh, compared to we just randomly give them out as uh, you know direct subsidies to people in need of um, I don't know support. Mm -hmm. <coughs> and, and so and it could be on any of the SDGs. So education is great Ooh. as part of it. So teaching people to be global citizens of yes. sustainability yes. as a obvious uh, social cause for you. Mm -hmm. And so, uh, and it's uh, the same anyway. So in your proposal, if you make these two points that uh, you're rebooting and mm -hmm. also you're creating more social impact, um, because you have to return to your donors as well, right? They, they, they can all also directly donate uh, to, to people in need and run their own exhibitions. and. and and so on, so you have to justify it already. And so just use the same narrative. Uh, and then um, and the deadline is five days from now, but I'm sure you have most of the, the uh, facts. Yeah, it's November 11th, you said, right? Oh my god. It's November 11th. That's right. Yeah. And then, um, and I mean, because you're an established brand, uh, I don't think the, the judges will be completely oblivious uh, mm -hmm. to your work. And so then, um, once you're a physical um, tenant, uh, a incubatee uh, of, of the, the basement of the space, then that gets you even more because we know you're physically here. Mm -hmm. And so there's a lot of like dinners with CSR partners, um, like um, all the collaborations on uh, like goals. Uh, for example, we, we just did one um, on uh, circular economy. Um, but uh, previously there was education innovation and previous to that is telemedicine and so on. And because you're a community, uh, mm -hmm. there's bound to be community members in your community that are more interested uh, in that particular aspect. 
And so then, um, as community members, then you can host events here. Mm -hmm. uh, and then you can also make the full use of not just the basement space, but also all the spaces here. You'll have priority compared to other organizations uh, to use this space for your public uh, uh, events. And so, and we relaxed the rule actually for the next year. There's even a, um, a, a grocery store. Uh, and, and like, uh, you can actually trade uh, within that uh, space. So it used to be the entire Air Force is like forbidden to, to do like direct transactions uh, mm -hmm. for commercial use. Yeah. But we're also relaxed that. That's why we got a new apartment, why we got a new street number. So even though we're technically part of the space, uh, but we are uh, number 99 in the okay. section three of Renai Road, right. which is not the same number oh, right. as the rest. So, of so basically, so so that that's that's why I have to say that. This this thing that you just mentioned does it apply to our area? No, no, no. only this. We, we got a new so street number, so we can new. apply oh, okay. for a, a different land use. Yeah, 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 but 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 branding wise, we're all part of Sila. Yes. It, it's the social innovation area within C Lab that allows for social innovations uh, uh -huh. of this kind. Great. Uh -huh. That's really good to know. Uh -huh. Every time we talk to you, you give me great ideas and give me a lot of hope. I <laughs> kind of find the job. <laughs> That's great. That's really, I mean, we've got so much information yes. from you today. This is fantastic. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So if we were to put our stuff together before November 11, mm -hmm. where do we go to, to apply? What's the... Yeah, so um, if you... Um, so I, I just Googled uh, uh, Xie Chuang Xin Chuang. So social innovation in startups. Right. Right. And that's it. Uh, and if you Google for those four words, you see this PDF file. That's the first thing. Okay. That's the first thing. Um, Right, and, and I think um, if your your uh, written proposal uh, is like bilingual, that's best because it shows yes. your bilingual yes, capacity. Yes. Um, but I mean, Chinese only is fine. Uh, the the AGOT folks, uh, the like Crossroads and, and other folks uh, who focus on getting all the government service bilingual, mm -hmm. uh, they I think they are also putting forward a proposal. Mm -hmm. And technically, it can be all English, of course. But I convinced them that because their work is bilingualism, so <laughs> maybe it makes more sense to be bilingual, <laughs> right? Increase their chances. And so uh, there's also some curation going on. Uh, so if you and those HGOP gets admitted, it's very likely that you'll be next to each other. Uh, yeah, which is great because they, they are working very closely with the National Regional Council and other ministries to make our services truly bilingual. Uh, and that's one of the tangible results because any time they do a usability testing of our new rollout service to make sure it's as friendly to people with uh, Mandarin as first language and Mandarin uh, English as first language uh, or as second languages. Um, then they will need people to give their honest opinions, not uh, constrained by you know subsidy relationships, and, and so your community may be perfect. Mm -hmm. for that. Fantastic. Yes. So one of the things that we, when we moved here, when we moved to this place, we were we were really excited to be in a big community with other organizations, mm -hmm. other artists, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. we wanted to collaborate, we want to That's create right. a That's lot right. of, you know, buzz here. Yes. My favorite word. But it never happened. Mm -hmm. So what you're saying now is, if we were to have a base here, yeah. we have access to all of this, yeah. all these other amazing, yeah, creative, great kitchen. socially innovative yeah. people, yes. uh, which is really what we're all about, yeah. you know? We want that connection. We're all about humans connecting. Mm -hmm. Basically, whatever we do, that's what it boils down to. Okay, so maybe you become closer, maybe. <laughs> 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 yeah. Yeah. Yes. Um, actually, I have some other questions regarding subsidies. Yes. Um, because it actually it does take somebody to run the space. Sure. And we were wondering, since our target, one of our target audiences um, are currently in Taiwan, and we're also to achieve um, 
to help the goal of child becoming a global by 2030. Um, we're wondering if there's any subsidy that we could ask for from the Ministry of Foreign Affairs or the Ministry of Interior, um, based on the fact that one of our target audiences are partners for Taiwan. Mm -hmm. I don't know, because um, I went on the websites and I tried to check, but I couldn't really find much. So I was just wondering if you mm -hmm. had any information on that. Right. So a couple of things. Um, the largest one is this is actually the um, International Trade Bureau of the Ministry of Economy Affairs. Right. Um, they run huge exhibitions. Right. Or rather, they fund people to run huge exhibitions. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> uh -huh. uh, and they can just directly subsidize up to, I don't know, more than two million developments per event. Um, okay. and, and you don't find that in MOFA or in other ministries. Right. Uh, okay. But it, it makes sense if you can align it with one of the like core um, industrial innovations. So right. we're at the social innovation side and mm -hmm. they're at the industrial innovation side. Uh, and the, the II uh, as opposed to SI which is oriented toward the 17 sustainable mm -hmm. goals. Uh, the II uh, team is more around the SACO 5 plus 2, uh, which is like circular economy, mm -hmm. uh, yes. renewable energy, uh, mm -hmm. you, you know the deal. Yeah. Uh, and so um, these events, if you angle the event as uh, you know, promoting the awareness that Taiwan is now renewable, mm -hmm. that Taiwan is uh, running on a like open uh, Asia connecting to Silicon Valley uh, right. platform, uh, and things like that, then they'll be very interested. Uh, just look at how the Talent Circulation Alliance runs the summit. Uh, that's that's how, how that works. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, MOVA yeah. doesn't do much uh, like inbound. Right. They, they do a lot of outbound. outbound. Yeah. Right. So uh, for inbound, the uh, things I'm aware of uh, yes. is mostly uh, on our both diplomatic allies and also other island uh, nations, not necessarily diplomatically allied. Mm -hmm. So they send people to Taiwan for yes. training mm -hmm. uh, and for understanding because we solve a lot of uh, issues pertaining to islands uh, like maybe 20 years ago or 10 years ago and we're glad to share. Um, but that uh, may not be your forte, uh, to, to be very frank, uh, because it's not at all artsy. Uh, it's not at all about design thinking. It's more about how to uh, do development without sacrificing uh, their uh, long-term environmental and economic viability. Uh, and so, uh, unless you, you focus on that, mm -hmm. uh, it's kind of hard to, to get the inbound. Mm -hmm. um, and the equivalent album is the, the ICDF. Um, and if you just look at the ICDF website, you mm -hmm. will know what they're, they're doing. What is so, ICDF? Uh, the International Cooperation and Development Fund. Okay. Right. And, uh, but we just had a uh, trip to Addis Ababa, which worked really well. Mm -hmm. And one of our social innovators who use AI to solve uh, TB, as in the, the epidemic, uh, the, the coughing, like, um, mm -hmm. um, Tuberculosis. Tuberculosis. Yeah, tuberculosis. In the old days, they called it consumption. Yeah, that's right. Yes, uh, tuberculosis. Um, usually, according to WHO, uh, each uh, check takes anywhere from seven to ten U.S. dollars. Uh, that's the running average, uh, not just in Africa but everywhere. But they use AI to reduce it to sub dollar, uh, and wow. and so for each check. It's not very affordable. So um, they had a uh, trip, as I mentioned, the RCSR matching trip uh, to Yilan uh, with the indigenous people there uh -huh. uh, because they look at the stats and see where the TB is uh, the most in Taiwan, which is kind of difficult to find, but they managed to find some place. <laughs> and then we had a conversation there uh, and uh, delivered this kind of AI-based, uh, you don't have to uh, uh, deploy a lot of doctors there. They, they could be uh, in large hospitals and do this remotely with mm -hmm. the help of AI. Uh, and so uh, on the stage of the, the UN Center in Africa, um, in Addis, um, you know, our social innovator just announced that uh, you know, uh, any of the, the 30 or so African Union leaders in the audience, if you want to be eradicated, you just pay only 
one dollar per check, and then Taiwan can help. Uh, that's our core message, and, and that that was really successful. And, and so, if any of your work aligns to that, uh, then then I'm sure ICDF wants to talk to you. Uh, but but that, as I said, it's very specific, mm -hmm. yeah. right? Very so specific. so that's that's the extent that I know of. Through the DCA, there's already a program um, encouraging foreign arts professionals to come here to come to work. Well, that, that's the, the building on the gold card, which okay. which we know that it uh, fits certain use cases, but right. not the most, right? Yeah. <coughs> and so we're we're looking at how to improve right. the, the gold card program. And so uh, the website address is TCA. Yes. That talks to. Uh -huh. that talks TW. To, yeah. Right, that's where the brainstorming is happening. Okay. Uh, and then it, it's just going on right now. So Correct. feel free to, to vote on each other's ideas and give your ideas. And the ideas that resonate the most uh, will have a face-to-face -face discussion. Mm -hmm. And uh, the M channel will take those to the web paper. I see. Because I'm sure, because we have so many artists that are actually <coughs> they would love mm -hmm. to know more about this. Yeah. Right, it, it's not specific to artists. I just read quite a few. This is shown randomly. I just uh, read quite a few that pertains to designers and artists. But and I think a lot of musicians have yeah. also. Musicians yeah. also, that's right. But but like this one uh, pertains to uh, long term care workers mm -hmm. and, and, and laborers and say that we should copy uh, Japan, in which that. Uh, where uh, the domestic uh, workers are at a significant uh, shortage. Mm -hmm. uh, we should just, for these uh, trades, have a separate card uh, for, for these. And, and that's another idea. There, there's many ideas here. Right. So, mm -hmm. so I just read a few pertaining to artists. Awesome. Yeah. Wow. So that's yeah. <laughs> we need to get into all these yes. conversations mm -hmm. and understand yes. what's going on. because. What, what's trending? It's important to be a little bit more updated on that. Exactly. Sure. Yeah. Exactly. And you are doing some very innovative stuff, so we're really. Thank you. Yeah. Indeed. Yes. So we have this. And it's yes. our monthly calendar okay. and the postcard that we just gave to you. If you have a space okay. here, you can share with people. Uh -huh. But if not, it's okay, but you can just keep those in. And this is awesome. Spread the word. It's a bi monthly mm -hmm. calendar, so you have November and December. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, there's actually a stamp there. So awesome. Have, oh, yeah, that's great. we can just put it in. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Thank you All right. So much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Do you have time to show us the basics? Yes, yes, yes. I actually do. Okay. So let's go. Thank you. Thank you. Wow.